And I've got an interesting study for you today. Quite lengthy, but I don't know how or why the Lord laid this on my heart, but I want to compare two men. And I don't want to do any injustice to this one man. And to a man that most Christians should be familiar with. Now, I know it's 2021 and the other person I'm, I'm about to speak about and compare. Maybe he's even forgotten. Maybe no one knows about him. But I want to compare two men, a worldly man of fame and fortune. But maybe not that much fortune, but fame. And a man that his fame is eternal rewards and to be known by Jesus Christ. And that his rewards and fortune would be gold, silver, and precious stone. To realize that if you were to change, if you were to, to, to look into your spiritual birth and there is 99% chance that you were led to the Lord Jesus Christ by one of Paul's writings and I know some people use the, the Romans road which is all Paul line but I mean there's the gospel of John there's Peter's James Revelation Old Testament but I want to compare, and I'm trying not to do a long introduction because we got a long study here. I want to compare two men. And the two men I like to compare to would be Evil Knievel and the Apostle Paul. And I think they're almost comparable and yet two different lives. Robert Craig Knievel. And then you got Paul the Apostle. Commonly known as St. Paul or known by the Hebrew name Saul of Tarsus. Paul's Jewish name was Saul. Paul, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. Jesus called him Saul, Saul. Acts chapter 9, 22 and 26 in the Hebrew tongue. And this would have been the conversion on the road to Damascus that Paul wrote about, spoke about. <clears throat> and then he would show up to Ananias of Damascus and he would call him Brother Saul. In Acts 13, Saul is called Paul for the first time on the island of Cyprus. And he's quite often referred to as Paul. And when I don't mention Paul, we're talking about evil Knievel, unless I mention my name. But October 17, 1938 to November 30th, 2007. And it's possibly that Paul was born between the ages of 5 BC and 5 AD. Now we do have the birthday of Robert Craig Knievel. But we don't have the birthday of Paul. We don't have the birthday of Peter. We don't have the birthday of Jesus. Not December 25th. The birthday has no recognition for any Christians. But the date of our new birth. We don't even know what year Paul was born. Even Jesus. It, it could have gone into B.C. Listen, our calendar has been changed by the Catholic Church. I'm going to try not to add extra notes, but you know me, I'm a preacher teacher. So, Robert was an American stunt performer and entertainer. The Apostle Paul was a Christian apostle who spread the teachings of Jesus in the first century. He's the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, Hebrew of Hebrews, and is touching the law of Pharisee. Robert, over the course of his career, attempted more than 75 ramp-to-ramp -ramp motorcycle jumps. 
Paul founded many Christian communities and churches in, in Asia Minor and Europe in the mid 30s to the mid 50s, which we would see the third, the three Pauline journeys. And even those same areas that the Apostle John would write to churches in those areas that Paul was at in the book of Revelation. Kniva was inducted into the Motorcycle Hall of Fame in 1999. The Apostle Paul has 27, maybe 28, of the 39 New Testament books. You think there, there's a Hall of Fame in heaven, as such as the Hall of Fame in the world today? Kniva was Kniva died of pulmonary disease in Clearwater, Florida, in 2007, at the age of 69. Paul was beheaded, probably for the word of God, and being a Christian. Surety. Knievel's surname was German origin, and paternal great-great-grandparents immigrated to the U.S. from Germany. According to the book of Acts, Paul was a Roman citizen. Paul was Jewish. And we said Hebrew of Hebrews, Pharisees. At the age of eight, Knievel attended Joey Chitwood and Darewood Daredevil show, which he would credit for his later career choice in motorcycle Daredevil. Paul participated in the persecution of the early disciples of Jesus. Paul was a devout Jewish family of the city of Tarsus. Paul would go off into Arabia and learn from the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul learned from the, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul's conversion on the road to Damascus, he saw Jesus. I've never seen Jesus. Always looking for new thrills and challenges, Knievel participated in local professional rodeos and ski jumping events. Paul looked to preach, teach, and pray with Christians and preach the gospel to the lost people. And he had a great love for his nation, the children of Israel. During the late 1950s, Knievel joined the U.S. Army. Paul has said that prior to his conversions, to his conversion, Genesis, uh, Galatians 1, Philippians 3, and Acts 8, he persecuted the Christians Beyond measure, he would deport the Jewish members called Christian player at Antioch and return them back to Jerusalem to be persecuted by the priests, the high priests. He was involved in traveling to the road from, Jer from, Jer from Jerusalem to Damascus. His mission before he was saved was to arrest Christians. They weren't called Christians yet, but I'm called they arrest them and bring them back to Jerusalem. And that, on that road to Damascus, he met the Lord Jesus Christ and got saved. Approximately half the, books of, half of the book of Acts deals with Paul's life and work. Paul was still fairly young when he was in Jerusalem and received his education at the school of Gamil, Acts 22.3. One of the most noted teachers of Jerusalem law. After his army skit, Knievel returned to Boot, B-U-T-E, where he was, his hometown, where he met and married his, his first wife, Linda Joan Bork. Paul was unmarried or widowed, 1 Corinthians 7-7, seven, seven, I would that all men were even as myself. And he's talking to people who were not married or widows. So we're not sure if Paul was a widow or he was unmarried. Some say to be the position that he was at the Sanhedrin, that they had to have been married, but nowhere it says Paul was a Sanhedrin. He was a Pharisee. Knievel, who was learning about culling, C-U-L-L-I-N-G, of elk in Yellowstone, decided to hitchhike from Butte, his hometown, to Washington, D.C. in December 1961 to raise awareness to have elk relocated to areas where hunting was permitted. 
Animal Antipas. During 1962, Knievel broke his collarbone and shoulder in a motorcycle accident. To help support his family, he switched careers and sold insurance for the Combined Insurance Company of America. When, they, when the company refused to promote him to vice president, after he had been a few months in the company, he quit. Acts 18.3, and because he was the same craft he bowled with them and wrought by their occupation, they were tent makers. And later on, we will learn in the ministry and the writings of Paul that he would continue work rather than receive funds from the churches. They may not be able to pay him. And it was assumed that here he met Aquilius and, and they were tent makers. He joined in the craft. Wanting a new start from Brew, Knievel moved his family to Moses, Moses Lake, Washington. There he opened up a Honda motorcycle dealership and promoted motocross racing. During the early, teen, early 1960s, he and other dealers typically promoted the selling of Japanese imports because of the steep competition from the auto industry. The Moses Lake Honda dealership evidently closed. After the closure, Knievel went to work for Don Pomeroy at his motorcycle shop in Sunnyside, Washington. Pomeroy saw a son, John Pomeroy, Jim Pomeroy, who went on to complete the Motocross World Championship, taught Evil, Knievel, or Knievel, how to do a wheelie and a ride standing on the seat of the bike. Paul asserted that he received the gospel not of man, but directly by the revelation of Jesus Christ. He claimed almost total independence from the Jerusalem community, but agreed with the nature and content of the gospel. He appeared ego, eagerly to bring material support to Jerusalem, various groups of Gentile churches that he started. In his writings, Paul used the persecutions he endured to avow proximity and union with Christ and his validation of his teachings. I think that's a lot better than a wheelie. As a boy, Knievel had seen the Joey Chitwood show. He decided that he could do something similar using his motorcycle. Promoting the show himself, Knievel rented the venue, wrote the press receipts, releases, set up the show, sold the tickets, served his own master of ceremonies, enticing the crowd a few wheelies. He proceeded to jump a 20-foot box of rattlesnakes and two mountain lions, despite landing short on his back wheel. Hitting the box containing rattlesnakes, Knievel managed to land safely. After his conversion, Paul went to Damascus, where Acts chapter 9 states he healed of his blindness, baptized by Ananias at Damascus, Paul says that he was at Damascus' belly escaped death. Paul also says that he went forth to Arabia, then came back to Damascus. Paul's trip to Arabia is not mentioned anywhere else in the Bible. He descends the Galatians of how three years his conversion he went to Jerusalem, that he met James and stayed with Simon Peter for 15 days. Paul will be involved with a snake. We'll talk about that later. Knievel realized that to make more substantial amount of money, he needed to hire performers, stunt and other personnel so that he could concentrate on the jumps. With little money, he went looking for a sponsor and found one, Bob Blair, owner of ZDS Motors, Inc. And Blair offered to buy the need of motorcycles, but he wanted the name change from Bobby. He wanted to change from the name Bobby Knievel and his motorcycle Daredevil's thrill show to Evil Knievel, E V I L, and his motorcycle Daredevil's. Knievel did not want his image to be that of the Hell's Angels writer, motorcycle group. So he convinced Blair to at least allow him to use a spelling. E-V-E-L instead of E-V-I-L. Now, I heard somewhere that, maybe another, and there's probably different many stories, but I heard somewhere that the E-V-E-L the, the e was suggested by a sheriff 
where Knievel had been put in prison. But I can't validate that. Paul's first journey was by the Antioch community was led by Barabbas, uh, Bar, excuse me, Bar, Barnabas. And they went from Antioch to Cyprus, the southern Asian minor. And in Cyprus, Paul rebukes in blind, the blind Emilius, the magician, Acts 13. He sailed to Perga in Parmelia. John Mark left them and returned to Jerusalem. Paul and Barnabas went to Pisidia, Antioch. On Sabbath, they went to the synagogue. The leaders invited them to speak. Paul reviewed Israel from the life of Egypt to King David. He introduced Jesus as the descent of David and brought to Israel by God. He said that his team could came to town to bring the message of salvation and recounted the stories of death, of Jesus' death and resurrection. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. That's the gospel. He quoted from the scriptures and said that Jesus was the promised Christ who brought them forgiveness of sins or would bring them forgiveness of sins. And then there would be there would be converts and the Gentiles were even invited the next Sabbath. And, if, and the, many of the Jews in the area spoke against them and fought against them. And then Paul used the opportunity to start going to the Gentiles. Well, the next performance on February 10th in Barstow, California, during the performance, Knievel attempted a new stump in which he would jump, spread eagle, over a speeding motorcycle. Knievel jumped too late and the motorcycle hit him in the groin, tossing him 15 feet in the air. He was hospitalized, injuries. Paul left for his second missionary journey from Jerusalem in the late autumn of 49. After meeting the Council of Jerusalem about the circumstance questions of circumcision and other priorities, he made his trip around the Mediterranean Sea. Paul and his companion Barnabas stopped at Antioch, where a sharp argument about John Mark <laughs> in the trip, in the book of Acts, said that John Mark had left him. Unable to resolve the dispute, Paul and Barnabas decided to separate. Barnabas took John Mark and Silas joined Paul. Paul and Silas initially visited Tarsus, Paul's birthplace, Darby and Lystra. In Lystra they met Tim Timothy, a disciple who was well spoken of, and decided to take him in. Paul and his companions Silas and Timothy had planned to journey the southwest portion of Asia Minor to preach the gospel. But during the night, Paul had a vision of a man in Macedonia standing begging, come to Macedonia. After seeing the vision, Paul and his companions left from Macedonia to preach the gospel. And the church kept growing, adding believers and strength, faith, daily. That's what a lot of churches want today. But they don't want the persecution. So we have a man who's involved in thrills and excitements and crowds and, and entertainment. And we have a man Focus on the gospel, the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the church today. They want fame, fortune, and, and attendance, and, and sell tickets, and all kinds of things. And you very rarely have a church today. The gospel. The church today. See this guy do this trip. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Well, that don't bring the crowds and entertainment. That's your evil can evil. That's not your Paul. Paul got in the ship, went to this place. All right, what's the name of this place? All right, let's go, let's go find somewhere to preach the gospel. Paul, the ship leaves at two. Do we have time to preach the gospel? You want to get on the ship? I've got to do it quick, Paul. All right, let's get. Hey, we're on the ship. All right, Paul, what do you want to do? Let's teach the gospel. What's Knievel want to do? And nothing wrong with Knievel. Listen, this was his job. Dun, 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 let's have a carnival and for all kinds of fun. Game show. Entertain. Now watch what this guy can do. Well, we know we got to do a bigger, better jump because that jump has to be better than what I just did. Because if I keep doing the same jump, people are not going to pay the tickets. 
Paul went from, from seaport to seaport with the gospel, and it grew. He right now, listen, nothing against Mr. Knievel. But you know, let's say, let's say Mr. Knievel wanted to jump five buses and dancing bears. And for his entire life, he's gonna he's gonna jump five bu five buses and dancing bear. How, how how do you how long do you think that that career path would go if he didn't have to make a change? Knievel had to get better and better and better because and do better and better and better because that's what his people wanted him to do. What did Paul do? Preach the gospel. The church wants excitement. They don't want the gospel. In Philippi, Paul cast out a spirit of divination of a servant girl whose masters were unhappy about the loss of an income but their suits they didn't provide it. Paul was seized with Silas and dragged in the marketplace and authorities and, and Silas put them in the jail after they were beaten in an earthquake, in a prison, and a man Bow down before Paul and Silas. What must I do to be saved? Words that any Christian would love to hear a lost man say. And what? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And I got in church. You know, you got a, a, a 20 minute introduction to the altar call. <laughs> really? We got to make the altar call better next time. Because not many people will come. We got to have a better fellowship. We got to put more Tootsie Rolls for the kids. We got to add a holiday. Let's add Valentine's this year. Knievel's Daredevil show broke up after a bar slow performance because injuries prevent him from performing. After recovering, Knievel started traveling. That's why people don't like me. I'm in your face. I kick. Knievel started traveling from small town to small town as a solo act. To get ahead of other motorcycle stunt people who were jumping animals in pools of water. You see, see this church, this church, this church. You see, this motorcycle performer, this motorcycle performer, this motorcycle performer. Our VBS has to be better than their VBS. Don't you tell me. You're going to be telling the Lord Jesus Christ one day on your failure. So Knievel had other stunt people of motorcycles, he had to do better than what they're doing. That's what the churches are doing today. What's Paul doing? Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures, was buried and rose again the third day. Well, Paul, tell us really about the, the, the Messiah, Jesus. All right, let's start in Genesis. Let's go to Exodus. Let's go to Leviticus. Let's go to Numbers. Let's go to books where Christians don't even read today. Oh, did you hear this pastor's going to swallow goldfish? This youth pastor's going to have a water gun fight. This church is going to have a den, 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 a carnival. You haven't read about the 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 the, the, the epistle written to the Corinthians, have you? You believe it or not, I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. There's there's a church here called, called Corinth. You know, study your Bible. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Jump in animals and pools of water. That's a church today. Knievel started jumping cars. He began adding more and more cars as jump when he would return to the same venue to get people to come out and see him again. Well, we have hamburgers and hot dogs. We're going to have a fish fry. We're going to put money under the pew, the person that sits under that pew. We're going to put a, 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 a leaf in, in, a, in a church brochure. We're going to have gift cards. We're going to have trips. 
He who brings the most people. Hurrah! Dun, 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 dun. Do you know we were looking at the church age with, with, with evil Knievel and Paul? So, okay, so he's got to do more and more. I, I got to stop that. Knievel had to... Can, yeah, Knievel had not had serious injuries since Barstow's performance, but on June 19th in Missoula, Montana, he jumped 12 cars in a cargo van. The distance he had from takeoff did not allow him to get speed enough. His back wheel hit the top of the van while his front wheel hit the top of the landing ramp. Knievel ended up seriously broken arm and several broken ribs. Now, a lot of these I'm showing you because I'm going to show you something about Paul and injuries. But you know, every time the the, earth, the church gets involved with that, 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 you know, they're causing serious injuries to their credibility, to their character. You think you're doing right. With each successful jump, the public wanted to jump one more car. Why should I go to your church? You you know what you know what our church has? Our church has dancing girls, California. On March 25th, 1967, Knievel cleared 15 cars at Escart Park in Gardera, California. Around 50 to 52, Paul spent 18 months in Corinth. The reference of the Acts of Galilee ascends to date. In Corinth, Paul met Priscilla and Aquila, tent makers, who became faithful believers and helped Paul through their other missionary journeys. What did Paul, what, how many cars did Paul have to jump? Though there were, how many camels did Paul have to jump? How many goldfish did Paul have to swallow? None. He's out there preaching the gospel, and Paul, and God said, Priscilla, Aquila, yes, I want you to go over there. Paul, yes, Lord, I want you to go over there. Hey! And they met each other. And they end up helpers, and great helpers, not only of Paul, but we will learn later, they went out in their own missionary work. And they accompanied Paul in Ephesus. And they built one of the strongest and faithful churches of their time. And in 52, year 52, departing from Corinth, Paul stopped in a nearby village in Secrini to have his head cut off. Wait a minute. No, have his hair cut off, not his head. I had to read that. Because a vow he had taken earlier. Now, Paul still held to the, the Jewish traditions. He was mindful of the Jews, and he didn't do it for, he did it because a testimony to the Jews. Paul would not, though he had liberty, Paul would not eat pork in front of the Jewish people because it offended them. With Priscilla and Aquila, the missionaries, he sailed to Ephesus. And Paul alone went on to Caesarea to greet the church there. And he traveled to Antioch, where they stayed for some time. And before living, leaving for the third missionary journey, the text of the New Testament would come out of this area called Antioch, where they were first called Christians. Then he attempted the same jump on July 28, 1967 in Grand Washington. Where he had his where he had had his next serious crash. Landing his cycle on the last vehicle, a panel truck, Knievel was thrown from his bike. This time he suffered a serious concussion. After a month he recovered, he returned to Graham on eight, August 18th to finish the show. But the result was the same. Only this time injuries were more serious. Again, coming up short, Knievel crashed breaking his left wrist, right knee, and two ribs. You know what's happening with the church? The more and more they fail against Jesus, they're losing more and more rewards. They haven't read the description of lad to see in church age. We're rich, we're great, we're wonderful. God's a bleh. You're naked, you're poor, you're miserable. Nothing more funnier to have a church in Laodicean church age 
written, uh, having the name Open Door. That's a wrong disposition. If, if you're going to name a church like that in the lad to see church, eh, say it's the closed door Baptist church, if you want to be scriptural. Yeah, I know. You don't like what I preach. Go back to your playpen. Put your diapers on. Put your loves on. Paul began his third missionary journey traveling through the region of Galatia and Pergamum to strengthen, teach, and rebuke the believers. Rebuke the believers? Paul would not be welcome in your churches today. Paul then traveled to Ephesus, an important center of early Christianity, as most seaports were. He was there about three years, and there he was working as a tent mirror. And he stayed in Corinth. And there he's working numerous miracles, what the churches want to do today. But he's still, the Bible is not complete. He's still doing, dealing with Jewish people, and Jewish people require signs. And there's healing and casting out demons or devils. And he's organizing missionaries in other regions. Listen, not only is Paul on his first, second, third journey, but he's sending Timothy, Timothy out. He's sending Titus out. He's sending Philemon out. He, he's got involved in missionaries of his own missionary work. And you got churches spending more money on their church building than they are missionaries. But the grass looks good. I don't see any rewards in heaven for grass. I know people don't like what I say. And Paul left Ephesus after attack by a local silversmith. He, he, he had a riot in the city for great Diana because he's because he's preaching against it. And, you know, you can't come to the farmer's market and preach here because we're going to lose our money. Oh, the preacher's driving away business. Except for the preacher was gone for a month in the hospital and your business has gone away without the preacher. I know, you don't like what I preach. Then he later goes on to Philippi. Paul went through Macedonia to Achaia and stayed in Greece, probably Corinth, for three months. This is about 56 to 57 AD. And you can read this through the book of Acts and Paul's writing. To get an audience at the casino, CEO Jay Sarno, Knievel created a fictitious, a fictitious, I can't say it, corporation, a liar, called Evil Knievel Emperor, em, Enterprises. You know some churches are corporate? They don't have deacons, they have trusts, trustees. I dare you to find a trustee in the Bible. I can show you deacons. Three fictitious lawyers to make phone calls to Sardo. Knievel also placed phone calls to Sarfield, claiming to be from the American Broadcasting Company, ABC, Sports Illustrated, inquiring the jump. So Knievel was a liar. I don't see anywhere where Paul lied. I do know some Baptist churches that lie. I know there are Baptist practices. There are Baptist pastor, you know, they got their stories and they put their own personal life on it. I've been taught that in school. I am Dr. Stiley William Hayward. A lot of these pastors don't realize I've been taught on the fraud that they are doing. So Sarno finally agreed to meet Knievel and, and, and arrange with Knievel to jump the fountains uh, on December 31st, 1967. And this is in Las Vegas. I don't know if I have the name here. You don't need to know the name anyway. The Dunes. Who cares? After the deal was set, Knievel tried to get ABC to air the event live on Worldwide Sports. I remember that. Worldwide. You know, the thrill of victory was always something, somebody different. But the agony of defeat was always that poor skier that flopped. If you remember that program, you know what I'm talking about. ABC declined and said if Knievel had jumped, had to jump film and the spectacular as he said it would be, then they would consider using it. There would be no lie. 
Knievel, at the age of 29, used his own money and had actor-director John Derrick produce the film for Caesar's Jump. To, to keep the cost low, Derrick employed his then-wife, Linda Evans, I believe that was Wonder Woman, as one of the camera operators. As Evans, who filmed Knievel's famous landing, on the morning of the jump, Knievel stopped in the casino, placed his last $100 on the blackjack table, which he lost. <laughs> 21. Stopped by the bar and had a shot of wild turkey, and then headed outside where he joined by several members of the casino staff, as well as two showgirls. You know, there's some churches that have whiskey, they have drinks, they have bingo, they have uh, 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 sweet steaks. They have, you know, draw a number. They'd have that in churches, you know. And there are some churches I've been told in California they got the showgirl. I guarantee there are probably some churches that go to casinos. Matter of fact, I can tell you, I, I know for a fact that there was a Bible study group at one of the casinos in, in Connecticut where I used to live. Heck, I brought one time, I was in prison ministry for six, seven years. I remember one time I, I brought a, a newspaper clipping or a magazine clip. It was me. I, I, and listen, these guys are in jail. They know the world. And I said, listen, I got, I got a, a picture here. I want, you, I want you to pass it around the room. And after the Bible study, which had nothing to do with it, I just want to know what your, what your idea was. And, and, and the picture and the caption was a Bible study group at Hooters. And they had pictures there and the waitresses. And the men at the prison said, that was ridiculous. Now, they favored Hooters, but to have a Bible study at Hooters, they had more sense. Yeah. I know, I keep going on. After doing his normal pre-jump show and a few warm approaches, Knievel began a real approach. When he hit the takeoff ramp, he claimed he felt the motorcycle unexpectedly decelerate. Then the sudden loss of power on the takeoff caused Knievel to come short and land on the safety ramp, which was supported by a van, causing the handlebars to be ripped out of his hands as he trumpled over them into the pavement where he skidded into the dunes parking lot. As a result of the crash, Knievel suffered cr crushed pelvis and femur fractured to his hip, wrist, and both ankles, and a concussion that kept him in the hospital. Now, a virtual meeting between Paul and the Jerusalem church took a place about 49 year, and traditionally dated, and the meeting described in Acts chapter 15, verse 2, usually the same event mentioned by Paul in Galatians chapter 2, and the question raised about the G Gentile converts and the need for circumcision, and James, the, the, the head, took control, and they sent off the letter to the Galatians with the affirmation of Peter, James, and John, affirming to Paul's missionary to the Gentile, and Paul didn't have to factionate and lie about and come up with fictional characters. Peter, James, and John, and Paul, and, and, and the men of Paul's party were all true and it was all to the fact is, what is the proper conduct for the Gentile Christians? Just five months after the near-fatal crash at Las Vegas, Knievel performed another jump on May 25, 1968, Scottsdale, Arizona. I haven't even been born yet. Knievel crashed while attempting to jump 15 Ford Mustang. Knievel ended up breaking his right leg and foot as a result of the crash. Acts 14.19 and there came thither Jews from Antioch and Iconia, who persuaded the people and had stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, so supposing he had been dead. On August 3rd, 1968, Knievel re returned jumping, making more money than ever before. He was earning approximately 25000 per performance. He was making successful jumps almost weekly. October 13, Carson City, Nevada, he, while trying to stick the landing, he lost control of the bike and crashed, 
breaking his hip again. Acts 9, 24 to 25. But their lying awake was made known to Saul that while they watched the gate by day and night to kill him, then the disciples took him by night and lowered him down by the wall in a basket. On January 7th and 8th, 1971, Knievel set a record by selling, by selling over 100,000 tickets to back-to-back -to -back perform performances at the Houston Astrodome. You know, there are pastors competing with other pastors from other churches on how well their church is doing compared to those churches, and that church is doing well, and we got to outdo that church because I can't boast in front of my pastor friends if that church is, is doing better than what my church is doing. Meanwhile, some of these pastor conferences, they're going out there, and when they go in their hotel room, they're renting triple X movies. Don't you fool me. On February 28th, a new record recorded by jumping 19 cars with his Harley Davidson XR750 at the Ontario Motorway Speedway, Ontario, California. The 19 car jump was filmed for, for the movie Evil Knievel. Held the record for 27 years until Bubba Bell. We don't need to know about records. 2 Timothy 4, 10 to 11 from Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and departed unto Thessalonica, Croesus to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me in the ministry. On May 10th, Knievel crashed while attempting to jump 13 Pepsi trucks. May should have been coached. The approach was complicated by the fact that he had to start on pavement, cross the grass, re then return to the pavement. His lot of speed caused the motorcycle to come down from front wheel first. He managed to hold on until the cycle hit the base of the ramp. After being thrown off, he skidded 50 feet. Knievel broke his collarbone, suffered a compound fracture in his right arm, and broke both his legs. In 57 AD, on completion of his third missionary journey, Paul arrived to Jerusalem for his fifth and final visit with collection of money for the local community, for the church that was in Jerusalem. The Book of Acts records initially being warmly received. However, it goes on to recount how Paul was warned by James and gained repetition of law. Paul underwent purification ritual. Within seven days of his purification ritual was almost complete. The Jews from Asia accused Paul of defiling the temple by bringing Gentiles into it. He was seized and dragged out of the temple by an angry mob. There was an uproar. The, the Saturnian soldiers had to rush in. And I, I'm not able to, to determine the identity of Paul and the uprising. They placed him in chains. And Paul proceeded to ask and seek license for permission to speak. They ordered Paul to be brought to, to and be by flogging, where he asserted that he was a Roman citizen, which would prevent his flogging. Paul was being accused by the Jews that he had just raised his great ruckus at the temple. And Paul spoke for himself and caused a disagreement between the Pharisees and Sadducees, which threatened to be violent. And the soldiers again had to take Paul by force. And the next morning, 40 Jews had bound themselves with an oath that we're not going to eat, we're not going to drink till we kill Paul, which God told Paul's nephew. Paul had to have been carried away in the middle of the night to Caesarea by 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen, 200 spearmen. This is serious. Where he was taken by Felix, the governor. Paul was taken to Caesarea where the governor ordered him to be kept under guard, jail. Five days later, he appeared before the high priest, Ananias and Titurius, reported that Paul to the governor lies. <laughs> to 
Then Felix then ordered the centurion to keep Paul in custody, and let him have liberty, where Christians and friends could, could you know, deal with and help him. Paul's in prison. Paul is wrongfully in prison, though God told Paul, the Holy Spirit said, don't go to Jerusalem. And then he, he he's, 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 he pleads to Caesar, and he's, he's, he's sent to Rome. And he gets that, that, that shipwreck. On March 3rd, 1972, the Cow Palace, Cow, can't spell chicken, in Daly City, California, after making a successful joint, he tried to come quickly stop because of a short landing area. Knievel reported suffered a broken back and concussion after getting thrown off and run over by his own motorcycle to Ollie Davidson. He even returned to jump in 1973 in November, where he successfully jumped over 50 stacks of cars at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. 35, for 35 years, that record was held. Acts 16, 23 to 25, when they had laid many stripes upon him, and they cast him into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe, who having received such a charge, thrust him in the inner prison, made their feet fast in the stocks, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Listen, Knievel is suffering for his stunts and his shows. Paul is suffering for the name and the testimony and the word of God of Jesus Christ. During his career, during his career Knievel has suffered more than 433 bone fractures. Earning and entering the Guinness Book of World's Record as a survivor of the most bones broken in a lifetime. I know uh, Christian who's in the Guinness Book of World's Record for whips. However, this number could be exaggerated. His, his son Robbie told a reporter in June. 2014, his father had broken 40 or 50 bones. Knievel himself claimed 35. Nothing wrong with the world getting his book of records. I don't know. Stop, you gotta stop kicking. Philippians 3, 4, 8. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he whereof might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day, the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, touching the law, a Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching righteousness, which is the law of blameless. This is Paul. But what things were gained to me, those I count loss for Christ. Yet doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, to whom I have suffered loss of all things, and do count them but dung. That I might win Christ. And after the St. River jump, Knievel returned to motorcycle jumping, ABC Sports televised the jump. Now he got doing. And 1975, 90,000 people at Wimbledon Stadium in London, Knievel crashed, <laughs> trying to jump over 13 redundant single dump AC, AEC Merlin buses. So, you know, his shows are getting better and better and better and better and better, like the church ages. 2 Timothy 4 through 6, uh, 4, 6 through 8. For I am now ready to be offered. The time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me at that day, and not only to me only, but unto all them that love is appearing. After the crash, his flight breaking the pelvis, Knievel addressed the audience, announced his retirement by stating, Ladies and gentlemen, of whom this wonderful country, I've got to tell you that, I, that you are the last people in the world who will ever see me jump. Because I will never, ever, ever jump again. I'm through. I just read you, you know, 
Paul's count, 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 8. He finally arrived at Rome around 60 AD, where he spent another two years under house arrest. The narrative of Acts ends with Paul preaching in Rome for two years from his rented house while awaiting his trial. I will never, never, never jump again. Paul ends up, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And the churches today were closed because of COVID-19. Three years ago, oh, the sin of Facebook. 2020, 2021, will you go live stream to our Facebook? You can even give money via online. Dun, 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 dun. Check our time here. I'm going to stop right now, take a break because we're coming to an end time. We'll do part two in a moment.